Why don't I bother skipping this? It's just <laughs> okay. Just flavor text. Yeah. yeah. Nick. What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yeah, magic tricks are by their very. Oh, uh, hello. Did I not say anything? Could you hear me? Oh uh, no! I, I it stopped at very. Okay. Yeah. Magic tricks are, by their very definition, tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess, guess the trick. But the tricks Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl said a magic trick? Hmm, what kind was it? Let's see, it, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Oh my god, are you serious? I cannot get that. <laughs> oh no. First she put her right hand trick, next to her left hand and then it just separated. She could she could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? W was it kind of like this? Oh, what? How? How'd you, how'd you do that, Nick? You're, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of the murder. It'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Alright. Yeah, that's a good right. point there. Okay. A very big circus. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Everybody oh, is no. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Wait, oh, wait. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? I quit your whining. Let's get the let's give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down. What are you doing? You're supposed to say gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. Come on. I'm, I'm trying my best, but really, this this isn't going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy saying dumb things? You're just uh, you're just gonna have. You're going to have to be on your own someday, come on. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello, you two. Uh, hello, Ben. Hello, what are you, you two. doing here? Can't we see we're in a secret crash training course? I I'm, I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Ooh. Yeah, in the middle of the street. <laughs> yes, uh, Trello wouldn't give up until now. I was, uh, I say we tried out this idea for a new routine. So we were trying to sing, ar 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 sing around for a new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? It's incredible! Yeah, see, see? Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you! But they're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip of the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You, you, you think so? Oh, uh, I almost forgot. I want to give this back to you. There it is. Now I've got this ring back. It's time to take my one. Uh, take, take one more shot at Regina. <laughs> now before we can, I just want go look at Ben's age before we continue. Oh, he's thirty-one, right? Okay. Oh, we do. We, oh, we did. Oh, yeah, never mind. We we did. He's did thirty-one, it. right? Yeah. When we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. just can, we check that out? can we? Can we check the age of the puppet? I, that's what I wanted oh, to know. Yeah. He's even. He's already. He's <laughs> nearly twice the age of uh, Regina. If it's, she is twice yeah. the age. Of, like, and the, unlike to the, to the Max, who's, who's at least like just six years older. Or five. Um, okay. Let's go. And not a puppet. <laughs> and not a puppet. Um, I know that you've already testified in court today. You wanna know? Uh, you wanna talk about what I saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it, uh, it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Uh-huh, yeah, 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 that's right. But then we said hello and he didn't even reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. 
What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Um, uh, what do you think, Ben? I uh, what? I, uh, I, I, I thought, I, uh, I would have uh, thought it was the ringmaster. Uh, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. Marriage. They saw marriage? Yes. They saw marriage. <laughs> I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. Th that's why I'm waiting for her, even now. we waiting for her, even now. You you're recording right, Daniel? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> so sweet. But sweet. you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you? Check out the tent. Ah, you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is a part of being in love. How oh. so? If you had a clue, you would. <laughs> if you had a clue, you wouldn't know such a waiting guy. Uh, waiting so. What, what the fuck? Let me do this again. <laughs> if you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your part, this love, that's one of the best parts. Oh god, this is jailbait right here. Oh, oh god. Yeah, I, I knew like that. Is it waiting in like a, a literal sense or a figurative sense? Like waiting for her to turn 18. Oh, uh, she's so red, she looks like a vine ripe tomato. <laughs> red. She's okay. so red. They so spell right. Look at her. Red white. What's she looking out? How will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routines are a secret. We're gonna take this ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a revolution. A real one. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Makes Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. How does he think he is? Trilo, you seem really be you, uh, Trilo, you seem to be really fired up about this. Yeah, he needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words. I, Trilo Quist, will win the Grand Prix. <laughs> You're the man now, doll. <laughs> oh, row, row, row! Your boat will be the key to glorious victory. Uh, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> don't throw, the, don't screw <laughs> this up. You gotta be a part of this too. All right. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Like the yeah, they're, they're also some of my favorite. These are my favorite characters so far, except for the one part that we don't mention. Except one of the one part. Uh. <laughs> the one thing about them. Huh? Sweep under the rug. Gina. <laughs> I don't know, but if he's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? Mm. Jeep, jeep, no, no, jeep, no, no, jeep. no, 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 I'm just um, allergic to wild tigers. You're just the chicken. Jeep, 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 jeep. <laughs> You're just chicken, Mr. Right. You're just the big chicken, Mr. Right. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why did he do that? Anyway. Was it really that cold or something? No, when it snows, is there anything new here? <laughs> no, there's nothing new here. Is yellow too. again? Uh, nothing new here. Okay. Then Choose man. cafeteria. <laughs> Still haven't cleaned this place up yet. Do you think they ever clean it up? It's like a bomb went off. Ha! <laughs> Really got one look at the state of this place. She'd slap whoever was in charge. Who eh. She'd slap whoever was in charge of right across the face. Whatever it's that I can read it. Remind me to never invite her to my office. Yeah, but the office doesn't look this bad, Phoenix. <laughs> uh, why do you uh, visit Max? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Gods, oh sweeties! You don't mind me hurrying up and getting uh, getting me out of this place, huh? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. 
A little while ago, some people from the local TV station came by. And seeing some f a famed musician, they said, Let's make you your uh, very own TV special. Yeah. What kind of TV special? Lords, Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. <laughs> it will be aired live. I like, I like how, I like how you say cards and everything. Those cards, by the cards, way. Every cards, every cards. 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 <laughs> hey, like it's, it's like it's Pokemon attack. Yeah. Cards, go. Cards, go. <laughs> he just has so many cards. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never really let me out of here for real. <laughs> well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out here quick, I have no choice but to stage an actual, actual real prison break. <laughs> you seem awfully calm about that possibility. No, it's, it's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's just show business, baby. <laughs> I can yeah, you imagine him like standing on top of the prison cafeteria and be like, Come on, guys! Let's fly our way out of here! Fly away. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps to his death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And everyone gets like, yeah. <laughs> when, he, uh, when he splats down, it's not blood, it's just cards. It's just cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cards. Um... The night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off in the sky, did you? <laughs> it is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is just not something I can do at will. I don't care about that s what that stoogy clown has to say, it wasn't me! Max, Max, do you mind teaching me a trick behind flying? Um, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie, but the difference between me and a cheap imitation magician is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this uh, in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Hold on, Maya. Friends with the other performers in the circus. Oh, I'm fabulous! It's a great joke. Why would I be friends with such a bunch of hacks like them? What's a hack? What? I won the work. I won on the world stage. I won the international grand prix. International grand prix. Performers should always look to perform in the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. This is something that I cannot simply tolerate. Ambition? Simply huh? not tolerate. Yeah. Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Grand Prix? Why is it called a Grand Prix? Yeah, though? Like, whenever I think yeah, of Grand Prix, I think about cars. Cars, yeah. yeah. Oh, my sweeties, I want to hear a... a Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix Thump Day. To be honest enough, I've told this story like a million times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell again. You must not have heard me. I'm really sick of telling this story. Well, you must have not heard me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Cards! Voila! Take a look at this. More cards! I'm kidding. It's a picture of uh, what the Grand Prix of uh, one. Yeah, it's a picture of the Grand Prix. Just look at my fabulous stage and that fabulous, sexy young man. That, that was the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. Everyone in this photograph has bad oh. eyesight now. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd erupted into applause. Erupted. Erupted. The ringmaster's office, a room. He had one that's a tree. Oh yeah, one of the oh, trophies. That must be one of them, I guess. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and there, <laughs> but I could die a happy man. You either die as a hero or live long enough to see yourself become mm. the villain. The villain. And I'll never forget how it felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. 
Wow. <laughs> By the way, God, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That, that's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick. How about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. What do you oh, steal so one from the ringmasters? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> you know, she can steal posters. Why can't she steal trophies? Easy, easy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my sweeties. You can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure that you show it to all the other members of the circus. Clients, look and learn, bitches. That's what you tell them. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? I'm like, how do you throw cards? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Is there anything here we can present uh, him? No. Okay. I guess not. Here, have some seasonal b bottling, whatever. Gum shoot? Hey. Yay! Oh, I uh, took two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Uh, I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've uh, been listening to the uh, some crazy clown's life story. <laughs> this boy come and told me to uh, come down here and do uh, do this for her. Yeah, I figured. You want to see how I got? You want to know how I got these scars? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, we got. <laughs> Let me tell you something, pal. Listen, that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should uh, be doing something. Uh, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you uh, have an idea how much your face hurts if you fake laugh that much? <laughs> no. Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. Why is Maya all of a sudden hating on Mo? Didn't she love him? No way, pal. You're not gonna... You're not gonna be bike by a woman with a whip. No way. <laughs> Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Kamm has always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely... Every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof! There she is. Don't, uh, don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up! Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. She's, uh, directly above us as we speak. What? Uh, huh? How is that possible? She's flying, pal. According to the clown, the culprit jumped uh, from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it uh, means the killer passed uh, right down this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there? Uh, the acrobat got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Oh, yeah. Pretty mm. soon, uh, Miss Von Kama is going to start an investigation up there. So, uh, don't get any ideas of uh, going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? You better All right. not. I'll beat That's... the shit out of you. <laughs> Francisco von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. All right. Beat the shit out of you, pal. If you uh, interfere. New character. Oh well. Yeah, I'm we really you. can't go there, can we? No character. Yeah. Let's go to Mo. You're dying, pal. Let's go to Mo's. You're dying. You're, you're not laughing. Oh, oh, oh. Mo was telling his jokes, and you're not laughing. Mo's not Aww. here, huh? <gasps> you see what he I see, Daniel? You would have been able to tell even before you stepped into the room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. <laughs> what, do <you> think <laughs> what do you think he's laughing at all when he's all by himself? I have a condition. Wait, wrong voice. I have a condition. <laughs> Please excuse me. <laughs> the wrong voice. <laughs> I have a condition now. I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm, he must really love his work. You see what I see, Daniel? The banana? Yeah, I like how he has a banana view. Oh god, look at his bed frame. That's terrifying. Oh. Some oh, big ass Is that a lips. giant broken condom? <laughs> what? Dude, most packing! Most packing! Most packing! Most like, packing! Most 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 no. Maya's like a sleeping bag. Uh, He's like, no, it's a broken accordion, bag. a broken unicycle. What's up with a these? A lot of broken what stuff. What are these? Yeah. What are these fruits or vegetables? This is the only. This the is a carrot. What the fuck are these? Look at this oh, carrot. Rabbit. Like a rabbit out of his head. Oh yeah. I don't know. 
All right, let's get out of, out of here. There's nothing here. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's Can we go to the acrobat? Let's get out. We can't go into the back acrobat's room yet. Oh, yeah, not yet. Mm. Where else can we go? What about the cafeteria again? Like, okay. Hopping over on the white hot sand. Mm. There we are. Oh, there. Oh, All right, cool. welcome to the wonderful, fabulous, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. All right, you know what time it is? Riddle time! Oh, he's another Batman villain now. Riddle me this! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um... <laughs> Come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is probably a weapon of bowel destruction? <laughs> Wrong, try again! Okay. What do you think, Gruy? Um, I got it. Okay, what's your answer? Because they are in the cafe, teary eye. What? <laughs> exactly. It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. Oh, oh, oh the oh, cafe, oh. teary eye. Okay. Uh... I did it. Oh, yeah. I don't what's actually get it. Wait, what? Cap what's it's cafe, teary eye. It's a very sad cafe because it's a teary eyed cafe. Uh, uh, what does that have to do with Mexican pizza? Oh, you're right. Yeah, what what, what yeah, did that have to do with I just thought it was going to have something to do with yeah. Give me this, Batman! It's been a crazy day, hasn't it? I'm the Riddler. Today has been a really crazy day, hasn't it? I'm the Riddler now! Jim Carrey! No. Uh, you're telling me I didn't uh, think it was going to be so tough? Huh? Yeah, uh, it was a tough crowd. That's what they call a crowd that refuses to laugh. I'll make him laugh, though. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I just smashed watermelons. What? Huh? I smashed them like how I killed those three guys in the subway. <laughs> all the great jokes and even finer jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the whole no shoes, no shirt, no service joke? Exactly. How can you not laugh at a stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw! I swear! That creep just... Flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. With style! The silhouette of his face made me positive as Max! I don't see a Cyclops. He must be telling the truth. I just Maybe really want that... to be a balloon. What's sorry? <laughs> just, like, a, oh, a balloon. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Well, shouldn't we, like, um, present something. the picture, right? Yeah, to the oh, yeah. people? Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, let's... <laughs> yeah, let's rub it in their faces. Oh, not this picture! He showed it to you guys, too! <laughs> showing it to people. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica? He really gets around. What? Uh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Oh yeah! He didn't just show me that picture. What do you mean? Rubbed it in my face. He said it. He, what? He what? showed me his bus too. Wait, Let me tell you, that thing's enormous. What? Whoa! <laughs> Maximum Galactica uh -huh. has an OnlyFans. Picture, I think. Whoa! <laughs> he made us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. I wouldn't, down hearing, I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bus. Not, not that I'm going to sort of that <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, tell, <laughs> tell us about Max the bus. We can talk Max. Max's bus should be on a small table bus. over there. What? Oh. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. What was it? It's about five days ago. All of a sudden, the bus disappeared. It disappeared? You want to see it? There's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Ooh. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing looks really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a. Oh my god, okay. You I want someone to make a out of me. Out of me. <laughs> sure, as long as I. Let's go! Aww. <laughs> sad Muppet face. Max G Bust. Max, Max G Bust. That sounds like one of those like uh, Dixon Cider, uh, Mike Hall. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> Max G Buzz. <laughs> Max G Buzz. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can see. I yeah, it's still dirty. Thinking about this, or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, I'm drawing a blank here. Oh god. Quiet. Just like with my gun. <laughs> no. A quiet mo is a good mo in my book. No. I guess there. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us. Tell us. It's a joke. Dang. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. No. Well, on the morning of the crime, over the Baltimore, <laughs> this piece of paper was posted front and center. Sorry. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I can see its title. Yikes! It says, To the Murderer! M -m -m murderer? Yep, that's what it says! The rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Uh, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yeah, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd better follow up on this important lead. Can we take a look at the... wait... What exactly does it say aside from that? No, we can't. Okay, it just says to the murderer. Okay... That's freaky. No. To the murderer. I guess we the present this to, uh, Max? Yeah, I think so. Maybe you can answer. Okay. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know about that note when I read it. My heart suddenly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? Yes. While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster accompanied and the, uh, the ringmaster and company went in the room. And come, I think. Yes, I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned incredibly bright red, and then all of a sudden he tore off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tail coat. Ooh! What? Really? Out, out of curiosity, what in the world was written on the thing? Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go ahead and find it out on your own. And I'm sure you can find it somewhere. That's the white thing thinking us. God, you might as well also ask for my sweetie pie princess. So that's the white thing sticking out of his coat in this room. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, what you looking at? Here we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, do you see that? Do you see banana? Banana. Or shoved into the, the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry and check this thing out, Nick. Check it out, check it out. I Ooh. knew it! It's perfectly with the other piece! What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. To oh, sorry. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Ooh. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murderer took pl that's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Oh boy! Oh baby! Oh baby! How do we, what, how do we even find that? Oh out? baby, a triple. Uh, gummy, gummy. Yes, gummy shoey. Gummy. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! I'm sure you did a good job as usual. 
Well, uh, I'm done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But, uh, with Miss Von Karma. <laughs> oh shit. Uh-oh. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma! Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind! Some sort of pager <laughs> or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here! Quick! See ya, pal! I, I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast! So much for being a flat flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go inside, it's freezing out here. Gumshoe has very bad luck. Oh, no, no, not in that way, okay, but like... You know, like Emma would slap him. My, my, uh, what, 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 what would Maya do against Gumshoe? Maya slapped him. Maya slapped he's him too. Awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he saw a ghost or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Shit, <laughs> it's so. Ah. Ow. What? Karma? As biting as lashes from a whip. Oh shit! It's von Karma. Von, von Karma. She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. Day my dream finally comes true! You mean the story of my defeat as your hands making... Sorry. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win just by a smidge. All right. Oh, we could talk to her. Miss Von Karma, it appears you've got something. Sorry, it appears you've got your hands onto something big. Huh? <laughs> Amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide the luck of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence. And a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back! M my dad? You must mean the esteemed man Fred Von Karma. Of course, your dad! I know you miss him! He's a granddad. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversations? <laughs> then... Then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again one more time. Oh! Edgeworth? Edgeworth! Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. What? what? Edgeworth? Mr. Mr. Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gift prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. Oh, no, no. That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles was a little brother to me. Even though you're younger. <laughs> <laughs> huh? A little brother, but Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> the man who inspired me to become an attorney. Oh great, there's exposition because we have because he hasn't been introduced into this game yet. Not sure. I fought against him in a few cases. But a little oh. after that was but a little after that case was over. 
no. He vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? Edgeworth was... Edgeworth was... Oh, sorry, those of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then... No, no, no. With the case after that one. No, you guys know. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> I'm still haunting you forever. He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. You and I are exactly the like, aren't we? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. <laughs> that, was, that was one year ago. That was one year ago. That was one year ago. <laughs> there, there was a one year ago. It was, a, your lines. it was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Of course he didn't. Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name of Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this one. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again. Okay. Nick? Ms. Von Karma? What? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had enough of- But I've had enough of you. Him too! Ryo! <laughs> 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 no, not him. I'm still in your dreams, Ryo! <laughs> I'm still in your dreams. Hmm. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I've, uh, I've nothing to inform you to of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Dun, dun, dun. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Let's play. Retorted. Acrobats so room. Sad. Oh, he... he's taking this guy. Oh, he's Native American. Hmm. I'll take him. All right. <laughs> you take him, you take him. You must be, uh, <clears throat> so, dude, you must be Phoenix right? You must be Phoenix right, yes. dude. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Yes, sir, boy. Ken <laughs> the detective told me. He said you definitely show, you'll definitely show up here. Acro... You're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform in the tightrope or the flying trapeze. He's in a wheelchair. Nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Michael, sure. why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. I'm now one with the world. The one person who was willing to take my parents' place was the Ringmaster. The Ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the Ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, looks at, look, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes, I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Mm, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm, do I, do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? I mean, he seems like the only person sad about his death. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but 
Why are you in a wheelchair? Uh, the nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened. The accident happened. Session, right? oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Three locks. Cyclox! It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were in acrobatic in nature. Or acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? W well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on in the circus then? Hmm. Well, let's move on to the third one first. Yeah, I stopped important. by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Uh, of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw... What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. These fucking birds keep on pecking me! <laughs> he can't talk. <laughs> what did you see, Acro? That night... I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. Oh, uh, hold up, guys. Sorry. Can somebody take over? The rain's really loud. Wait, I'm going to close my window. Okay. The rain? Oh, the rain. What? Like the, oh, what, what? what? Rain? The rain of terror? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what uh, we're talking like chanting like, for, for the... Never mind. <laughs> You're absolutely positive it was Max you saw flying? I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Dick. Mm. Uh, it's all for, uh... Well, it's all for him. can we, uh... Unlock no, we this enough. son of a bitch? <laughs> no, we don't have enough. <laughs> Damn it. The Grand Prix photo. Rub it in his face. <laughs> Look at this son photograph.